Welcome to Grow With Us, a gardening program for kids. Today, we'll be talking about wildflowers. Spring is wildflower season in Texas. You can find fields blooming in a rainbow of color and go in search of the ever popular blue bonnets. Let's learn about wildflowers. What is a wildflower? Wildflowers grow by themselves. They grow naturally in a lot of places, like mountain meadows, deserts, coasts, and even swamps. There are over 22,000 species of wildflowers in the United States. And there are over 250,000 species of wildflowers in the world. Once, wildflowers were the only flowers in existence. Over time, people learned they could grow their own flowers by planting seeds. They learned to develop special types of flowers in greenhouses and gardens. Wildflowers still grow abundantly in nature, creating beautiful landscapes of color. Wildflowers have evolved ways to survive and reproduce. Their bright, colorful flowers and tasty nectar attract nature's helpers. Wildflowers depend on pollinators like bees, birds, butterflies, and many other animals to transport pollen from blossom to blossom. Pollinated blossoms produce more seeds, which help the wildflowers bloom again the next year. Now let's learn about some wildflowers that grow in Texas. There are over 5,000 species of wildflowers in Texas. Let's take a look at a few of them. One of the most well-known is the Texas Blue Bonnet. It is the state flower of Texas. There is also the very beautiful paintbrush. The fire wheel shows off with blossoms that burst with color. Butterfly weed. Butterfly weed is a species of milkweed. It is commonly known as butterfly weed because the butterflies are attracted to its colors and all the nectar that it produces. Texas is home to about 20 species of prickly pear cactus that can be found from East Texas to West. Take a drive this spring with your family and enjoy all the beautiful colors along the back roads of Texas. One person you can thank for that is Lady Bird Johnson, who was first lady when her husband, Lyndon Baines Johnson, was president in the 1960s. She was passionate about nature and protecting our national lands and the plants and animals who live there. She was instrumental in the passage of the Highway Beautification Act in 1965. She made it her mission to clean up the nation's roadways from trash and too many billboards and plant wildflowers for everyone to enjoy as they traveled the countryside. You can learn more about Lady Bird Johnson and the wildflowers that she loved at the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center in Austin, Texas. So get out there and find some wildflowers. Whether it's a little bit of time to commune with nature, a search for vast fields of color, or a quiet, out of the way place on a backcountry road, 
to take a family photo. Make sure to stop for a couple minutes and smell the flowers. Here's a quick children's garden update. During the February winter storm, we did our best to try to protect our marigolds, pollinator seedlings, and tulip sprouts by covering them. And spring has sprung. Everything survived the big freeze and our tulips are putting on a colorful show. We also spotted who might be digging in our garden. Do you know what kind of animal that is? That's right, it was an armadillo. Shoo, Mr. Armadillo. If you'd like to learn more about Ladybird Johnson and wildflowers, check out these books, which are available for checkout at www.hcpl.net. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time in the garden.